Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode two of our Let's Play on the full United States campaign. If you missed episode one, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner, and there's also a link to the full playlist in the description below. But what we plan to do now is kind of shift away from Boston and move over to take Fort Rice, Fort Saratoga, Ticonderoga, Frederick, probably take Hobarton too and then come down and take Fort Montgomery from the British. So we do have a bunch of men moving out. Now the downside to this is we don't have a second general, so I'm going to be a little bit blind. And you did see the British kind of poke out, but then retreat backwards. So I'm not, you know, I'm not entirely comfortable with what to do at the moment. Uh, so we success or we succeeded in our mission to build a factory in the Hartford region. So another 10 rep is nice. And here is... The mission that I think a lot of people screw up on here, um, this is to capture Fort Ticonderoga, and the reward is 20 rep and 11 six-pound field guns, which is absolutely massive, getting those guns this early. But if you fail it, it's a minus 15 reputation, and this is absolutely crucial that you take Ticonderoga. So, so many people concentrate on Boston. Whereas Boston doesn't have a timer to it, and there's no negative to your reputation for not taking Boston, whereas not taking Fort Ticonderoga is really, really bad. Um, so absolutely need to do that, and then we are going to form up this army right here, and these guys are going to move up to Fort Rice. So I have two units going to Albany and Bennington already. I'm actually going to increase my intelligence cost just for a little while, and mainly that's so I can hopefully get some intelligence reporting on what these armies are doing over here, because I, I do need to I do need to know what's going on over there. As far as my troops at Hatfield, they'll eventually move up to Fort Rice. I am building in, well, they already built the artillery over there, and then these guys, they will come out and they will go over to Fort Rice too. Um, I don't want them in the actual battle, that's why I had them delayed. And here, to me, this is a simple decision here. I, I guess you could argue, like, is one officer worth 10 reputation points? I don't know how good of an officer is. It would be really nice if it showed you um, the stats of the officer when it comes to something like this. But I would rather have the reputation at the moment as opposed to one officer. Uh, even though I do need officers at the moment, um, that's just kind of, you know, my, my thought process there is I, I would rather have the rep at the moment because I have plans for that rep. Now, uh, Fort Rice only has 120 men in it. I might cut out a large portion of this battle because this should be a pretty easy battle. All right here we are trying to surround the fort. The British have started to fire upon us and we're just basically doing a general surround here and then we're going to move our militia forward. We are on a faster pace at the moment just because I don't feel like this uh, this battle is worth all the attention. Um, unfortunately, we've already taken 20 losses over there, so that's not that's not good whatsoever. But um, there, there's our cannon firing. I'd rather take 20. Well, that nah, wasn't the militia, so we probably screwed up there. But you know, that's that's fine. And uh, they surrendered, so that should be the battle. I guess maybe we need to capture the fort, but uh, that's the battle. And there's the victory. Yay! 25 losses, not great there, but. You know, oh well. Okay, back on the strategic map, we are going to move King over to Fort Rice along with Dane. Halliday's just going to take Fort Rice, and for those of you that are wondering, I did disband the unit up at Falmouth. I decided it probably couldn't get through here, and the British will probably take it any moment now. Um, now, I do have Chief Intelligence Tree opened up. I need to do the Intelligence Agency. Well, I don't need to, but I like the research speed. Um, going for that early, that'll make life a lot easier uh, in the long run. So just moving moving troops about now, Halliday is going to go over to Bennington, and Washington is going to start peeking over at Saratoga. He's a good peeker. Um, so we took Fort Rice, which is perfect, and uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of preparing my troops, I guess, is the best way to put it um need you guys to join the garrison that's for sure i thought i'd double click sometimes i think i do something and sometimes it doesn't happen so i guess taking fort rice is sort of an objective i guess hit an objective so we gain 10 reputation for that and four thousand money which is 
absolutely perfect, I guess, at the time period. These would be pounds or shillings because the Continental wasn't created yet. Washington, we're going to start moving them over. These guys, their condition is looking good. So let's move them up over here. How are you guys doing? Your condition is probably going to be good. Okay, there's a Native American settlement, so that's good to see. Can we, um, uh, if I click on this, mercenaries, yeah, we could actually recruit some, but we don't have reputation to spare at the moment. That's, um, that's one problem. Actually, let's have you guys join up, and then let's have you guys leave. Oh, oh, they're going a direct route. I screwed up there. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. Oh, they, uh, have more men than I thought they would. 565. So not, not great. Uh, I don't actually... Wait, those guys coming on? Okay, that's better. Man, four pieces of artillery in two regiments. That is absolutely brutal. Okay, this is going to be a bloody battle for Saratoga. This is going to be really bloody. But um, we'll, we'll try our best and we'll see if we can maybe like flank around the side. So eight companies, four artillery, uh, pretty rough. Okay, here we are on the battlefield, moving our forces out and about. Probably keep this on a little bit faster pace than it is right now. And uh, we're just trying to surround the fort is basically our plan at the moment. And that's probably easier said than done, but uh, where are you guys going over here? I need you guys to move up like so. And then... Who do I have over here? Grab you guys, move you up like so. These guys are unfortunately exhausted, so we'll just continue pushing forces up and uh, yeah, we'll we'll hope for the best. Interesting, um, the extra Fusilier regiments that I recruited don't have the same brown jackets as those guys. Just notice that. So hopefully our artillery starts positioning itself um, and uh, this is, this is going to be absolutely bloody. I'm not, not too excited about this, to be honest. I feel like this is not going to be good. So let's, let's start pushing. I do want our artillery pushed up soon. I just don't want it to be the very first thing that the British fire upon. Okay, there's some, there's some fire. All right, we could probably move the artillery up now and then everybody get on hold orders once you are in position and then we need re reserves behind more reserves behind and then the militia who is absolutely exhausted move up we already had a casualty which unfortunate um and by casualty i mean a, a junior officer wounded come on get in I am spamming the spacebar, please hold. Okay, move. Nope, uh, didn't mean to do that. I have them hotkey to one, I don't know why I'm not using that hotkey. Come on, keep firing. We are, we're not doing too well, to be honest. Um, man, that is a lot more men in Port Saratoga than I was hoping for. Where's George Washington? I totally forgot about him. That is a big mistake on my part. And uh, this flank's not doing well. We might start retreating from that flank, to be honest. Uh, let's actually just keep these this militia over there. Yeah, that's, that's not good. That was very unsuccessful on that flank. Let's get these pieces of artillery pushed up. And then see if we can get these militia moving in. Is there a gap right there? That looks like a gap, if you ask me. Um, so let's see if we can push in on said gap. And let's keep pushing forward. We need these regiments to move back or come back. That would be great. Uh, you two can combine your sort of coming back. All right need Washington over here. Hold, 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 everybody hold. Get in position. Um, need you guys up. Moving up, 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 up. All right, we have a foothold over there, so that's great. And then those militia are more on, I guess we would call it, 
I don't know what we would call it. Okay, you guys get back. All right, looks like we have a foothold. Let's see if we can... I'm still a little... I'm not entirely sure if I want to go running into there. There's a lot of artillery pieces. Um, I would like to soften them up a little bit more. And then let's see what we can do. This move, the militia in. This is going to be very costly in the grand scheme of things, unfortunately. Let's see if we can move you guys over there. Somebody else has shattered, somebody surrendered. Um, that's perfect. They're getting flanked, which is perfect. These guys are distracting the British, it seems. Which, um, once again, perfect. That's just going to be the word of the day, I guess. And then we're going to continue pushing on up. So it's, uh, oh man, I don't really want to get into grape shot range of the British artillery. I would like to clear, clear the outskirts first. Alright, let's see if we can push up over here. Can we move just a little bit closer? That would be great. Grab all of our prisoners. Um, somebody will watch over them, I think. Let's move this artillery up a little bit more. Maybe it can fire some... Oh, man. Okay. So here... Here comes our problem, is we are taking canister fire. I didn't realize we were in range for that. So we need to start... Probably charging the enemy. Let's have you guys group up. You guys down here. Washington, get over here. Um, actually, nope. You guys need to move up a little bit more. And then you guys can move up a little bit more. We are pushing through, which is great. Alright, I would like men to charge the artillery if possible. And we need basically mass charges on the artillery to break it. The British are better than us, so that is going to be the plan. Washington probably needs to be over here. See if we can get somebody else surrendered, which is perfect. I don't know who. There we go. I know I, know I can click on that. There's another uh, surrender. Surrender. Perfect. We're getting chain surrenders, which is exactly what we need, um, because the British are, as I said, they are better than us. Okay, I would like you guys to melee over there. And then can you guys move up and attack over there? That was that was good. Let's have you guys stop firing. And then let's see if we can get some more captures. They're exhausted though. So might not happen, but they are running straight into us. So maybe it'll happen. Would be great. Let's speed things up. Or maybe we can break them. Uh, breaking them would also be great. Uh, looks like they got away. Unfortunate. But that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. 575 casualties is bad in the grand scheme of things, but the fact that they had four artillery batteries, that's a tier 2, 4, and were nothing but civilian muskets, and we only had two cannons of our own, I'll take it. Could I have done things a little bit better? Probably. Probably for sure, but I'll, I'll take that. I always feel like offers like these are terrible. 32 weapons for 3,000 just seems bad. Um, but, you know, that's... It's alright. We will um, not complain. Okay, need everybody to go take Fort Saratoga now as opposed to sitting around. Would be very appreciative of that. As far as other men about, um, kind of want these guys to now come back. And go over to Fort Saratoga because the plan here is these guys are going to uh we missed the day. Nuts. Um can you guys please stay on Fort Saratoga? I would like everybody to join the garrison over here. And there's a little little trick I have for man moving manpower because it's really hard on the Western Front. What do I want to do over here? Research speed, wagons, wa I really like wagons. Uh, wagons give you supply companies, and I really like supply companies. I kind of think I'm going to go wagons and then research speed, because some of this other stuff is, like, uh, you know, mediocre at the beginning of the game. And research speed is really good, so... Um, and this is 77 days, so I'd rather get those wagons started sooner than earlier, I think. I think in a month we should be able to 
start producing some wagons. So my trick is move these 300 guys into Fort Saratoga. You see my units are battered. And once they get there, I am going to disband this unit and those recruits go into the pool. Now it's not a one for one. You saw we only got 260 and that was 300 men, but it's a great way of moving manpower really fast in order to replenish your troops because as soon as Junit hits, we'll have a major replenishment there and that'll be fantastic. Did anybody level up is another question. So Fort Ticonderoga, they have two regiments once again, so that's going to be a very similar battle. Uh, I don't think King will make it to Saratoga in time, but that is fine, and please, please stay over in Boston. So on June 8th, we receive uh, some extra stuff, which is amazing, and a thousand civilian muskets is exactly what the doctor ordered. I will take that. 30 ammunition is pretty pathetic, to be honest, and then naval guns, well, we're not really using a naval navy at the moment. That could be good if you're going heavy on navy. But they're only six pounders, so I don't know. A thousand seems really good. And then Fort Saratoga is captured. Uh, we have four pound galloper guns now. That's pretty awesome. So we'll probably put those in our infantry regiments eventually. But for the time being, actually, I think um, I, I think I want to edit this and add the yeah, we'll do that and then do this. I feel like these guys are ready to head on out, and then let's, uh, let's go up to Fort Ticonderoga. That is the plan here. Um, let's take a quick look at production. So we have five factories. We can't really... So let's, let's start bringing this down. I think we're pretty good on muskets at the moment. Yeah, we're really good on muskets at the moment. So we don't really need to build that. I would love to build cannons, but we have no copper production, which... Uh, not not great so man could we could we even stop civilian musket production at the moment go down one factory i think we could although that's probably a terrible idea uh it's always always risky but i i think that'll work and then we'll probably get another factory soon soon as always you know <laughs> a relative term things are never soon enough and the American Revolution. Now this big blob is moving up to Fort Ticonderoga. George Washington is moving up in support, telling the lads that they're doing a great job. And then we will just attempt to um, essentially do repeat what we just did. So, man, four cannons again. I don't is I don't know if this is like meant to have four cannons in all of these forts to represent that these forts um, are well armed. It would be interesting if you could create like garrison regiments or something uh, where, where like a fort has the ability to have more guns than, than normal. I think that would be cool, but man, this makes it tough. But let's dive right on in. Alright guys, we have completely shifted our army because there is a cannon, I think, right here. And the cannons are over here. And this side was a little bit weaker. So we are shifting our army completely... Um, in a different way and i think that's acceptable I, I think i don't think that's too cheesy you know find the find the weak spot in the enemy position and exploit it i think that is uh perfectly I think that's a good tactic right all right anyways um we are trying to continue to push around their flank though oh they moved their artillery that's interesting okay well Everything I said might be thrown out the window because they've just moved their artillery. Hopefully we can we can defeat them. Um, we actually really need to... No, I don't like that. I only want you guys three and then there and then move. Doesn't look like they've unlimited their artillery yet. I know there are issues with artillery on moving artillery within forts and... Uh, Hopefully they can fix that in the future, but if we can decimate that artillery, that'll be fantastic. Okay, so let's keep moving those guys out and about. Maybe I should have kept some militia out over that way. And there's the cat. 
YouTube sensation Kelly, and off the desk she goes. Because, uh, yeah, don't need her on the desk. All right. Can our artillery get into a position where it'll do the most damage? So let's see, what can we do here? Nope, 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 shoot. I have groups keybound, but I'm being absolutely terrible with that sort of stuff at the moment. Okay, you guys, doing great. You guys, move up. Uh, all of you, continue pushing the flank. Yeah, it looks like their artillery is not able to... I was about to say, our artillery is not shooting either. But it doesn't look like their artillery is repositioning. That's an unfortunate part about the forts at the moment. I sound like I'm struggling. There is a cat that is uh, <laughs> very stubborn. I mean, that's redundant. Stubborn cat. Okay, this is going a little interesting. Hopefully we can push up. Actually, we'd love for you guys to just push in there, and then let's continue moving you guys all the way around. Alright, we routed them. Perfect. See if we can push up some more. Those guys need to go on hold and bring you guys forward just a little. So we are getting that wall taken care of. That was terrible English. Oh, somebody over there didn't do well. Why Why did they get so battered? Interesting. Okay, they're retreating. Come back. Baby, come back. Oh, somebody over here. Okay, let's bring Washington over here because this looks like the place where we are taking the most casualties. Let's actually do something like that. Um, and it did click it and it disappeared. All right, who is... Can we get you guys moving forward? Okay. Get you guys moving forward. You guys move back. Um, let's have you guys become friends. Came a little chaotic for a moment here. You guys need to go on hold orders. And then this artillery probably... Actually, let's move you over here. And then let's get some support over here. Just, uh, Washington. You go over there. Actually need you guys to... I think I just pushed the exact wrong button. But need you guys to do something... More like so, bring you, oh, there's a cannon right there, that's not good. Um, six, can you guys charge? Okay, all of you guys move up over here, and then I would like you guys to charge into that, and then need you guys over here, what is this, these are POWs, ah, that cannon, gross, 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 not good. Um, yeah, not, not good, and they're routing because of that not being a smart idea. Alright, let's see if we can make sense of this. Nope, need you guys back over here. Alright, we got one artillery battery, which is great. Can we have all of you go on a hold order? I don't understand how you guys are blocked. That artillery piece is going to be major problem. So let's see. Can we just char... Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know if that'll be a good idea. We probably... There we go. They're moving, so that's good. I don't know. There's. It's kind of chaotic, especially when the flags... I preferred the old flag. Um, let's see what we can do over here. Okay. Good. We kind of did our what we needed to do. Was not pretty once again. Um, could probably do a lot better. We're winning. Okay, yep, that's clear and obvious. Okay, so we just have a couple more units to capture. Those guys got away, but I think we'll be able to capture this artillery. And... Routing artillery, overpowered... Oh, oh, okay, there. 
they're starting to get crushed. And come on. Oh no, our artillery started firing. Okay. Uh, 485 casualties, so technically better than the last battle, because we basically fought the same exact army in a much more difficult port. Alright, move these guys into Fort Ticonderoga, and King is going to move up and then disband so he can replenish some of those troops. Um, yeah, I know that not all effect. Well, it's just the shipyards aren't in use. So our muskets, ah, I mean, we could... Let's go back up, and then let's produce a couple more muskets, because we do need them. Now this group over here, they're going to, along with these guys, probably take Fort Montgomery. At least that's the... That's the idea. I don't know if it's a if it's a good idea or or what, but that is the idea over there. And then we're just going to really try and take Fort Frederick before all is said and done. Good, only 590 men, so that's perfect. Um we might just move these guys into Fort Ticonderoga immediately. What is that? Okay, somebody somebody died, so unfortunate. Oh, please make it into Fort Ticonderoga before the day is over. That'll be huge if we can get 300 more manpower into this um, kind of depleted army. And then there we go. And then we just disband those guys. They go into the recruit pool, so 262 men to replenish these ranks. And then they'll go attack Fort Frederick. So I need to start planning this out. And I also need to look at our headquarters. So five more days and we'll fast track Benedict Arnold. And I'll feel so much better on having two generals instead of one. I feel like that'll help us out a lot. All right. So 2200 gold doubloons it is. Um, terrible offer. And then Fort Ticonderoga is captured. So 20 more reps. So we've got a lot of rep at the moment. And ooh, 12 pound field guns. Oh. That's really good. I thought it was like 11 six pound field guns, wasn't it? I thought that was how it was earlier. Um, so that guy, whatever, we can, you know, fast track that, but I don't really want to. We don't really need the specialist report. And then over here, things looking okay. Oh, right. Um, I meant to do this a while back. So we received some more bricks and I want to put a merchant stall in Hartford, Connecticut. I feel like that is pretty important. Um, and then our loyalty is doing good across the board. So let's move the army on out and let's take Fort Frederick. That's, uh, we're going to take Fort Frederick and then hopefully Fort Montgomery. We'll just run Washington back down that way and hope that, gosh, these, these double cannon groups, they are, they are a big pain in my, in my rear. All right, moving in on this level one fort. So one of the problems with the level 1 forts is there's not really any room for your artillery, and you can see that, the, oh, those are mortars, that's interesting, that the British are moving their artillery out of the fort, and I just realized these are some small units over here, and they're, they're too small for my liking, so we need to combine some of these, they're probably the ones that took some absolutely disgusting canister shot in the last battles. At least that would be my my assumption of there. So that's you know ruin ruin our amazing looking battle line, and uh, and that's a lot of cannon fire. Okay, that's all right. We can we can deal with it. We are the Continental Army of George Washington. We are the best. Um, feel like I was going somewhere with that. It's probably not true. But let's continue moving out on the flanks. And let's see if we can, you know, get some nice fire on these artillery pieces. And then move up our forces over here. And then some of you will go over here. It's just kind of a uh, controlled chaos at the moment. would like you guys to... Ooh, that was some canister shot. That's all right. Just uh, keep on some some guy that doesn't sound American at all got shot, which, you know, makes sense. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of colonials aren't actually 
what you would consider American. They are of all different nationalities. Come on, I want to grab all these guys and put you on hold. Because hold is the magical button. I don't know if I like how you are moving. Uh, some artillery surrendered while well, they're about to surrender. George Washington, you're really bad at sticking in the fray. Okay, that's, that's great that their artillery is being absolutely blasted. I don't know what artillery is doing. I feel like I told it to move up, but it's um, not. Ooh, we took some bad fire over there. I wasn't paying attention. Let's have you guys move up over here. Um, is run still R? I've been really bad about doing stuff like that, like making sure that I have um, my guys... Come on, guys. <laughs> move up! It's a direct order. Alright, you guys need to get into that hole. I feel like uh, Mouse is not cooperating. Alright, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. George Washington, get in the fray. Alright. Go on hold orders. You guys need to be on hold orders. Hold, 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 and hold. Okay, lots of casualties over here. They're routing. That's fine, I guess. It's not really fine, but... It's just my standard go-to. It's fine. Alright, they need to take on that. You guys need to take on that. Free can take on that. You guys can probably take on that. Have you stopped firing in a moment? Okay, you routed, so maybe you can't take that on. No, I feel like I feel like we can wow, seven guys. That that unit stuck around for a while. Went down to seven duders. Okay. We need you guys to help out over here, please. Um, because that's the final last stand of the British, and cool, we took them. Alright, back to Global Map. Perfect. Uh, 311 casualties, so once again, not great, but I think by having those militia kind of like disband into the army, I think it kept us rolling to where we could roll through all the forts in quick succession. I think that was kind of, kind of a big key there. So I do want these guys to run down to Kingston and then everybody else... Let's just have somebody move on to there, and then Washington will probably need to come down over here, and then we'll start moving this army out. It's not really an army, but that is going to be the plan. Over here, everybody go into there, and then McKay is going to do his thing. So Fort Montgomery is next, um, and then we'll probably have a small force go for Hubbardton in the future. That'll be the, the plan. Um, these guys are bruised and battered. Fort Frederick is captured. What are these? Brown Besses. I need to start looking at what we have because I think... I think we're getting to the point where we could probably equip some of our regiments with better guns. And Yeah, 386. Maybe not. Oh, we could probably do a mix of Spanish 55s and Brown Besses in one regiment. That's not, you know, anything crazy. But, man, I would love to grab these guys. But I, I need my reputation for... We're going to fast track a bunch of stuff. Um, We're going to use about 20 rep over here really quick. And then we're definitely going to go down, like, Sons of Liberty. And we might fast track some of those. And then we need Continental Army and then reorganization, and then Continental Army reforms. So I'm not entirely sure the exact route I'm going to take, but this is going to go after this, or after Fusiliers for sure. And actually, infantry company starting stats seems a lot better than any of these at the moment. So those are, those are things I'm kind of looking at as far as the tech tree goes, but... Um, we're going to move our army down, and hopefully we'll have the Battle of Fort Montgomery soon. Alright, we have unlocked good old Benedict Arnold. So here he is. Where does he appear? He appears over in Boston. Did I say he appears over Boston? He appears at Hartford. Um, I also like Command Radius. Command Radius is good. And we're just going to have the good old Turncoat Spy on 
Awesome, that's going to be the plan there. Um, this guy has finally made it here. So we're going to disband this unit for those recruits. And hopefully Halliday can get here sooner rather than later. And then this army is going to start moving out. I say army, it's just, you know, two, two regiments. But this is feeling a lot better about all of this. Galvin needs to get over to Hatfield and hopefully really needs to get to Hartford so he can rest and refit. Um, man, I don't like giving, well, actually, no, I, th no, this is actually amazing. Oh, yeah, this is great. 129 muskets, civilian muskets for five copper. That allows me to do some cool stuff here. Oh, I forgot to fast track the Navy Department. Oops, that was, um, so that's a day lost there. Don't, don't do what I do. Um, so now we could start producing cannons again. I like that a lot, and we're just going to do one one a day, and then we don't need any civilian muskets being produced at the moment, so that's, that's fine there. All right, June 15th, we have the Continental Navy, so that is great. Um, says so we can assign projects, which we are going to do. So let's do... Man, so 70 days, 27. We're going to do that, and we're going to do Sons of Liberty. We'll probably fast-track that. And then see where we are. Um, yeah, that's this tree. I do a lot of fast tracking in the commander in chief tree because I feel like it gives you the best bang for your buck. These are some terrible, terrible naval officers, that's for sure. Research speed always the best thing to do off the bat here. And then just take a peek over here. And I think we are ready to move on out so you guys need to brigade up washington go over here and you guys can become a nice little army galvin is really he's going to be struggling that is for sure but he's going going to go down to hartford um i do have some materials but i kind of want to start making mines and other provisions i need to look at our colony management i just realized that we're doing mining doctrine in a lot of places, but that's basically it. So Massachusetts Bay, we don't have much. New Hampshire, we don't have much. New York, uh, we don't have enough, which is fine. Whoa, you guys moving? Oh, because the map is on fast forward. I was like, man, they're they're flying. Uh, I always like assault ports for the second tier over there. Those guys are going to do well, and then how's this looking? Nobody's reinforcing, so that's perfect. This is a level 2 fort, and this will probably be the last battle of this episode, so we basically smashing out, what is that, four fort battles in one episode? So you can uh, either take my strategy and improve upon it, or um, just use my strategy and hope for the best. Okay, long march and moving our guys out. I should have probably waited until our troops were a little bit more organized, but it's, uh, you know, how the cookie crumbles. So we're going to start pushing forward a little here. This is a tier 2 fort, so it's not the greatest thing to assault, but... We will make do. We will make do. You can see our militia kind of really lagging behind them. it's just where where they ended up on the map they were quite far away but we'll uh we'll we shall smash the red coats we will we will do it would actually like some of these guys a little bit closer And then you guys can move up. Washington, please get into the fray. I feel like I tell my cannons to move differently than... Oop, okay, that's not good. Those guys taking a little bit too much fire early. Can we fix that? Can Washington go over there? Okay, I need you to fire over there. Why are you guys moving so slow? Three pounder, three pounder. One, one was definitely moving a lot slower than the other. Another first officer wounded, unfortunately. 
You guys need to go into hold orders. Can you guys come back? Maybe come back? I'm a, an amazing singer, right? Every time I say something like that, it's probably like, oh, 50 million people unsubscribe. 50 million of my thousand unsubscribe. <laughs> you have to you have to make fun of yourself at things. Alright, um I mean this is not going well. I would like you guys to come back. Okay, they're they they also decided, you know, they they've had enough of this. They've had enough of this and I probably could have formed my army up a little bit better, and by a little bit I mean a lot. Okay. Come on guys. I would like I would like you all to to get back into the fray. You guys are regulars, man. We are definitely getting our butts kicked over here. And you guys move up over there. Actually, could you just could you fall back a little? And then hey, you guys no, come on. They retreat for a really long time. Alright, come on! Your friends! Perfect! Friends and family. Actually, they could be family. With how units were raised in this time period. Come on, crush that unit. Crush them! Kill them! Get these guys back into the fight. Okay, well, um... I was going to have you guys become friends, but... So much for that idea. Okay, you guys need to go on hold orders, and ooh, we just broke through, so perfect. All right, good, 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 good. Um, let's have you guys move up, 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 up. We go, and you guys can. Oh, you guys, what did you guys flee from? What shot you over there? And then we're struggling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back into position. This blank, not the greatest, but we are making do. Okay, get back into the fight. Uh, yes, great. That was that was great shooting. Great shooting. Let's have you guys move forward. You guys can group up. You'll go behind, and then think if these cannons move forward, they they surrendered, so that's great. What are you guys doing? Were these mine? No. Yes, yes. They were. Unfortunate. Okay, these guys, good. Alright, move up. And then can we get some charges on these cannons? They're probably too exhausted, really, but we're going to try our best. Okay, get some hold maneuvers going. They're routing. Come on, get back into the fray. Trying to pay attention to minimap and our troops. Only one got there? Uh-oh. Only one had the condition to do so. All right, um, hopefully we can beat the... They're getting rear flanked, so that, that does help. Probably not a good idea to move the artillery into the fort. That's probably a terrible idea. Let's have you guys move up. We still have retreating duders. Oh, there we go. They're retreating. Okay, see what we can do over here. See if we can get any more captures. Probably not. Maybe, maybe. No, I think they're getting away. Okay. Uh, that was a horrible battle. 571 losses. Uh, yeah, that was that was not good. I probably should have uh, grouped up my army a lot earlier, um, or made made it much more cohesive. These are. Can, can I just get like a no to all for all of these? These are so bad. All right, let's uh, let's grab you guys. Run in on Fort Montgomery and Quicksilver's already level three by June 16th. Um, I like movement of, yeah, move speed of units. That seems really good. Ooh, interesting. There are, oh, and they surrender. Okay. 
wasn't as interesting as I thought. Okay, you guys go over there. You guys will capture Montgomery. And then we shall move up over here. And I would like to see what is over at Hubbardton. Let's take a peek over at Hubbardton. Perfect. There's nobody in Hubbardton. So let's go grab... No, 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 no. We can walk across the river. We are Moses, after all. Disruption of supply lines. So this will sort of be the ending of this episode here. Um, we'll just have Ward go take Hubbardton. And I think that will basically be it. You guys looking fantastic as always. I would like you to go to Fort Rice. Those guys need replenishing. And then we have a bunch of forces. So our next plan of action, I think, is take Fort Lavelle and Fort Stevens. Maybe reinforce over here. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to take Hubbardton. That is for sure. And then what do we have? Some sort of liberty... Things are pinging off all the time, and then production management, so we're up to four. So I think I could reduce that. Um, it's kind of, you know, just good old checks and balances here. Once Hubberton is ours, I will feel really good. So we did all of that before June 20th, which I think is pretty, pretty darn quick. We'll have one unit stay in Fort Frederick for when that front opens up, and then this front doesn't open up for a really long time so really we just have to worry about canada soon why are they not capturing there we go there's the capture symbol that's interesting before it was like no when we took fort rice there was a skull in that circle but now it's that but that's going to be it oh cool in june wow that was like perfect timing we took hubbardton exactly on june 20th 1775 so here are here is USS Mars and USS Scorpion. I'll probably just throw these in storage at the moment because two 12-gun cutters isn't really going to cut it. No pun intended. Actually, the pun was completely intended. I'm a terrible person. Um, but yeah, we're we'll throw those in storage. I'll do that off camera. And well, actually, I guess some people don't know how to do this. In order to throw it in storage, you double click on the ship and then hit this disband button and it throws it into storage. I'm not going to sell them because we don't need the money, but they, they go right here. Um, and they don't sell for anything anyways. <laughs> they really changed how much money you can make off the ships, which is the ships were overpowered previously. And now I think their power level is more appropriate, even if it feels you know, a little bad at times. I'm probably going to go through my settlements and figure out where I want to build stuff or if I want to save up for mining um, because that's the in New York that is copper ore and lumber so that's an amazing one. Unfortunately it's going to take forever to build it there because there's not a lot of infrastructure or it's just Kingston which has very little workforce. Eh, it's 0.6 construction, so it's not terrible. But it does take a little while to build that up. But our next plan, hit Fort Lavelle, hit Fort Stevens, probably come around to hit Portsmouth, uh, leave an army there because there'll probably be 80 million battles of Portsmouth, come down Salem, and then take Boston before winter. That is kind of a plan there. And sort of wrap up the British on this part of the map. And then over winter, we'll prepare for inevitable invasions. And of course, uh, Canada opens up along with uh, Massachusetts and um, what Massachusetts was back in the day. Definitely not modern day Massachusetts. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. Greatly appreciate all of you. Let me know what you think about the full U.S. campaign. Are you excited? Are you holding out for Steam? I completely understand those of you that are. What are you most excited about for this game and what feature within reason do you think uh, they could add to make this game just like an A++ game? Uh, I would love to, I, I always love hearing and reading what you guys think about this. So as always guys, until next time.